All right, guys, so now that we have learned about what main idea is, what supporting details are, and what a topic is, we are going to take the book that we read the other day called Planets, and we are going to do a graphic organizer with it where we're going to be finding the main idea in a set of pages that they give us. We're also going to name the supporting details that help support our main idea. So the first two or couple pages that we have here are pages four through seven. So I'm going to reread those pages to you guys so that we have a little better idea of what it is we're reading about. So over here it says our heading is, what is a planet? Circle, circle in the sky. You're bright enough to catch my eye. You're not a star, but a place where gas or rocks swirl in space. Hello, planets. When you look up high in the night sky, you might see lots of bright lights. Most of these lights are stars. Most stars have planets moving around them. Planets are round objects that orbit a star. They don't create their own light. They only reflect light from stars. So if we go back to pages four through five, and we look at our heading, it says, what's a planet? In Hello Planets, we can see that these pages, four through seven, are all about planets and what planets are. So that would be our main idea, that planets are a place where gas or rocks swirl in space. We can write that here. So now we need to find what details help go along with our main idea that planets are places where gas or rocks swirl in space. So one detail that I'm thinking of is that planets are round objects that orbit a star because that's another supporting detail that the author gives us in the book. Planets orbit stars. The other main idea I think we can find, if you look at the last sentence in our book, or on the page seven, it says, they only reflect light from stars. So they don't create their own light, they only reflect light from stars. That's another detail that we can write. So planets reflect light from stars. All right, let's move on to our next box, pages 12 and 13. I will go ahead and reread those for us. The heading up here says the inner planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, it gives us pictures, are in the hotter part of our solar system. These planets are the four closest to the sun. They are made of rock and metal. So if we look at our first four, and what it says here, it says the inner planets, that is what this whole page is about. The whole page talks about inner planets. So we can put some planets are called inner planets. And then we need to figure out what details help support that claim that some planets are called inner planets. Well, we could use the picture because that's one of our um, ways that we can use to find supporting details and main idea. So our picture reads that Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are inner planets. So that could be a detail. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are inner Let's find one more detail in our story. It says over here, these are the four closest to the sun and they are made of rock and metal. We could actually use either, either one of those as supporting details because those help support the claim that they are in our planets. Let's just go ahead and put these planets are the four closest to the sun. They are closest. I'm gonna go ahead and erase this so that we can scroll down here. Do our 
next two. This box up here reads pages 16 through 17, so let's go ahead and reread that together. The heading in these pages says, The Gas Giants. Beyond the rock or any planet, inner planets, there are four gas giants. They are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. These huge planets are made of big clouds of gas and liquid. Gravity pulls the gas and liquid into a planet shape. All gas giants have rings. The rings are made of mostly ice or dust. So this we can see, we can look at our heading and see the gas giants. And that is our main idea, that these two pages are going to talk about the gas giants. And if we look here, it says Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are the gas giants. And then we need to find details that help support that they are the gas giants. It says these huge planets are made of big clouds of gas and liquid. That is one. And the other one we could talk about is all gas giants have rings. Okay. We'll move on to pages 22 through 25. This one talks about moons galore. We can see in the heading that's what it's going to be about. Some planets like Earth have moons that travel with them. Moons are objects made of ice or rock that orbit a planet. Some planets have no moons. Some have many. Jupiter has more than 60. Saturn has a giant moon called Titan. It is one of the largest moons in the solar system. It is even bigger than the planet Mercury. Our moon. Earth has only one moon. It appears large and bright in the night sky. Astronauts first walked on the moon more than 40 years ago. They left footprints in the dirt. There is no weather on the moon to wash or blow them away. These footprints are still there. So if we read the first sentence in each of these paragraphs, we can find our main idea. Some planets like Earth have moons that travel with them. And then the next paragraph says some planets have no moons. So that is a main idea that we can use. Some planets. Moons and some planets do not. And then we need to find some supporting details that help support our main idea that some planets have moons and some of them don't. So we could use the detail that Saturn has a giant moon called Titan. We can also use our next page talking about that Earth has only one moon. And that is our graphic organizer. So tomorrow on Zoom, we will be going over a graphic organizer that looks just like this, but with a different nonfiction book.